No student at Bits Pilani cleared the online assessment of Navi and Navi backed out from the hiring process. So Bits is the most reputed institute after IITs and something like this is happening there. This is what's happening in general from past one, one and a half years. One, students have started using AI a lot in these online assessments and they've started submitting answers to these questions. So the hiring pattern and a lot of platforms that they've been using they are not able to figure out whether this is the code that has been written by themselves or it's plagiarized or some AI tool has been used. Secondly, companies' expectations have increased a lot because if at all you give easy questions, every one of them is able to do it correctly by themselves or using AI or using any other means. So this particular test by Navi was conducted on Hire Pro. It was around 50 minutes test and you need to solve two hard level DP problems, right? Most of the sets were similar. So these were the expectations of the company and like, probably no one was able to clear the cutoff that they had. Companies are figuring out what could be that filtration criteria. Earlier online assessments used to be one, but now this is slowly becoming a bigger problem. And going forward, the hiring trends might even see a lot of difference. Many companies have already shifted to hackathons. A lot of companies have started allowing AI in the interviews. A lot of companies have started doing an assignment kind of a thing where you need to submit an assignment in some 36, 48 hours, and then you are getting selected. But the overall scenario of hiring process for a software engineering role is gonna change very very soon.